FDA slash coronavirus to learn more. Just trying to wear like a summer, summer vibe and mountain glitter on my eyes. Our favorite restaurant just opened back up. It's not even a restaurant. And honestly, I'm surprised they weren't open all of quarantine because like it's more of like a to-go place, but it's called Impact Kitchen. I think I've mentioned it before. It's great for like healthy stuff because it's all dairy and gluten-free, which is perfect. We made it. Uh, I'm gonna try this juice now. It's really good. Honestly, yeah. For gluten free, dairy free, it gets no, a just fucking like not, stellar review. Not even just gluten free. I know. Dairy -free. Like, that's so good. That was worth the drive, worth the wait. <laughs> drink here in my new cups that I showed you guys in the last video and it's actually very interesting I used that juice that I got yesterday at impact kitchen with vodka and key lime liqueur I think it's the ginger that's making it kind of like too healthy tasting but it's fresh I'm actually having some friends over tonight and this is like the first group gathering of friends that I'm having during quarantine I have like soap all over my hands. We're so lucky to have this backyard space where we can like socialize with people at like still a distant way, kind of. Um, yeah, so they're gonna come over. I've been having a weird day, so hopefully it's not a weird night. <laughs> I need to stay hydrated so I don't feel hungover tomorrow. So excited to see my friends. We usually see each other like at least once a month. We all worked at Brandy Melville together. TBT if I can find a pic and yeah, we're just still really good friends, even though none of us have worked there in like five years. So if y'all want to see a group story time, maybe we can do that. Maybe we'll have one later. Who knows? But I actually want to share with you guys some like night out summer looks. Like night out as if you're going to like a patio. I'm not going to do that. But like if you're doing that, I'm not going to judge you. Or if you're going to like backyard, a barbecue, whatever it might be. So I think I'm going to do like a little spicy montage of that in here because I didn't want to put the pressure on myself to do like a full on video because I know I'll just put it off. But yeah, I feel like that could be fun. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to start doing my makeup during this. We'll see if this is done by the time the outfits come in because that could be interesting. But here we go. Let's get ready.
beat of my heart, oh, I'll be true So I'm not giving you up, no I'll give you all that I got, oh I confess with each beat of my heart, oh I promise you Oh, oh I get a workout but also ruin all my clothes because they get way too sweaty oh, I tried to look cute tonight for my friends but it is not an option anyways this is what I'm actually wearing I did a little DIY on this top it'll be in a video coming soon I just like I can't I just can't I just can't come here okay. come here salad yesterday was a little rough for me I haven't uh, taken shots of anything in a long time so needless to say my body was destroyed we're recovering today in a new version of my quinoa salad that I showed you guys in last week's vlog this one I decided to make more like Mexican inspired because those are just the ingredients I had I did a cup of quinoa roasted red peppers that were like in a can chopped those up black beans baby corns cut up and then tomatoes cut up so I put some salsa on top because the dressing didn't turn out like exactly how I wanted to. I put way too much lime juice. It tastes like a very healthy, fresh chipotle bowl without being like hot and too heavy. So definitely check it out. Maybe this will be a new segment on my vlogs, the weekly salad, Sarah's weekly salads. Spicy salads with Sarah. They're not all gonna be like actually spicy, but. So I just tanned outside for a little bit, hence the bikini top. But I didn't film anything because I have been feeling so gross. This lighting is not cute either. Hello. But I want to share with you guys, this shampoo is actually going to be in an upcoming video of mine. But it is the Function of Beauty stuff. Funk of Dunk. This is actually not sponsored, but um, I do have a video coming up with them that is sponsored. But I just want to let you guys know that like, I think I washed my hair once last week the shampoo and the conditioner and my hair stayed so nice like you know that feeling that you get after you go to the hair salon and like you barely need to shower at all it's great it's all good for like a week and then you go back to like your lazy ways well this shampoo somehow did that to me and i've never ever ever found that in a shampoo so this vlog isn't sponsored as i was saying i just felt like it deserves all the love and attention that it can get so i love finding brands that just like work so well into my life and that i'm excited to share with you guys so i'm gonna shower because i haven't done that in like a week so i'll wash my hair and i also think i burnt my hair on the candle when my friends were over because there's like a really crusty fried looking chunk of my hair which like jesus sarah like what happened like Look at that. You know when you just like have mascara under your eyes for days and it can't come off? I've been seeing a lot of people talk about hair waivers and I didn't realize how freaking affordable they were and if I can like have my hair look nice and styled for the whole entire week, I'm totally down for that. Since I finally have like a shampoo and stuff that keeps my hair clean, I'm thinking if I get this hair waiver, do it like once a week or like once every other week because sometimes I literally just look like a potato the whole entire week, then that would probably be a decent investment. So this is what it looks like and apparently it's really easy to use. So I will keep you guys posted on that. I just wanted to share with you guys that I cut my jeans into shorts because I didn't have any black shorts and I just like don't have shorts in general right now. So it is freaking hot outside and I think these turned out pretty cute. We'll see how they like fray in the wash, but I'm happy because they didn't have a pair of black shorts. So we're good to go now. We are doing another spontaneous thing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Anxiety is at an all time high, but we're gonna do it. First time back. Hello, old friends. I don't think I'm gonna vlog because I still feel weird leaving my house, to be quite honest. Wow, we're back. We're back! Hand sanitizer? Kinda smells like pee. It smells like, like straight up alcohol. It smells like pee. 
don't love that, but. No, it literally smells like vodka. Sir. Okay. I had that experience the other day, too. Yeah, yeah that's why I said Mickey. Nine. We are making a pillow. This is the before. We are yes. going to be giving Becky a room makeover for her new room. So that's kind of what we picked up at Valley Village. I'll give you guys a haul. I got two, I got two things. And then we actually found a dresser on the side of the road Yay. for free. So we've got some fun DIYs that we're gonna do for her temporary student home. Well, that's not so good. Can you actually run downstairs and grab me? Can you do two things for me? Um, can you fill this up with water and also grab me my glasses from the dining from the dining room? But truthfully, we're gonna do it on. We'll just do a center stitch, which is A. Oh, this is the size of the stitch. Mm -mm. So we'll do one. And then, I don't really remember what this does. I don't know. But basically you have the foot and then you have to lift this up with the foot mm -hmm. on the side. She's cute. I wanted a zebra pillow for so long and I literally couldn't find one anywhere actually. So cute. we transformed my old up. dress into this guy right here. Want to see one of my first mini bags? I swear these were both mine, Becky. You look so perfect in my Well, I need to take one of them. Got my pillow, got my sports sack. couple days which I'm so excited to show you guys I think that video will be out next week hopefully that'll give me the motivation that I need so feeling good that I did it I've just been feeling like really pent up because it's been so hot and I haven't been able to like go on walks and get exercise that way or play tennis because literally been so 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 hot um but yeah as you can tell I've already been switching things up in my office so there will be an updated video on that coming soon I'm gonna give you guys that little value village haul and then I actually found some things on the road last night on my walk so I will show you guys that stuff once I'm all showered up I might try my hair waiver because that came in the mail so very exciting uh, I'm gonna look back on this vlog in like December and be like Sarah you should have enjoyed that warm weather we are gonna do the value village and curbside I've been finding a lot of goods on the side of the road, so debating on just like driving around one day and picking up as much good stuff as possible. First from Valley Village, I picked up this little cute dish. I don't know if you guys will be able to see the details of it. I'll try and isolate that for you so you can see, but it's got little roses and it's so, so, so beautiful. They had a bunch of these, but I honestly don't want to use them in the kitchen. I want to use it to put like jewelry or something like that in probably in the bedroom, maybe in here. I don't really know. But this one was only $2.99. On the side of the road, I found this lovely frame that's like complete plastic or whatever you would call this type of plastic. And I think that would be really, really cute as well. I don't have like any frames in this house. And then along with that, same house, same spot, I got this gold frame, which is also in really, really good condition. So love that because frames can actually be super expensive. And then the main reason I popped in to Valley Village was to get this, which I think is such a beautiful piece. I love the colors in it, and I'm thinking of putting it in our bedroom because our bed sheets are actually this color. So that is why I went. My weekly thoughts on thrifting. I literally went in just to go to the furniture section because I don't know, I'm like kind of easing into it still, and I just don't feel the need to go and like go through every single section. So I'm reinventing that whole like concept, but I know good things will come from it. So I'm just taking baby steps, y'all. Just taking baby steps. And yeah, very thrilled about all those things. The home stuff is popping. I want to do a video actually on like home, trendy home decor that you can thrift. But oh, let me show you how the pillow looks because I actually made our bed for once today and then I will sign off. 
finally have a little accent pillow. Kind of looks like smush, but I'm happy to have some zebra in the bedroom, so. I think that's gonna be it for this vlog. I need to go, I'm not gonna do anything to my hair today because it's just one of those days, but I will see you guys next week. Don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you then. Bye. Thank you.